Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and recently I went for a trip, well it was a business trip so I didn't get to play very much but I had a few short hours to venture off into the Mojave Desert. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? So I grabbed uh, everything one normally takes with them when they go off uh, hiking. Uh, a pair of boots, a backpack, water, a uh, scintillation counter, a Geiger counter, a gamma spectrometer, and a field guide for finding uranium and thorium and went off into the uh, desert to do a little looking. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be not too long of a video and I want to apologize right at the very, very beginning. You know, Gomina say, let me apologize from the very beginning. Uh, this video does not have me finding a humongous piece of epic uranium that's millions of counts per minute. So nobody watch this video and say, oh, this was a waste of time. You didn't find, you know, an amazing giant chunk of uranium. I tried. I got like a nasty sunburn on my arm and it, it was terrible. And I spent all this time and I wasn't able to find it. I did find some radioactive material. Don't get me wrong. Some minerals that were radioactive, they did find them. And there's some other neat things that were there too. I mean, it was fun. Um, so just, just giving you that heads up because I know a lot of times people like wow you and suggest that they'll find stuff and then they don't after like the whole entire video. Um, they'll let you know I'm going to be well, I'm going to continue going around the uh, United States to other locations. Um, I do this for work, of course. Um, I will be likely in Japan. Uh, let's see, this is April, so sometime in May I'll be in Japan. Um, you can take a guess what I'm going to bring there. Spectrometer. <laughs> um, I'll also be again in the desert in another couple of months um, and a bunch of other random locations. So I'll see if I can get you all a video from there. I just ordered a laser too. And I don't mean a laser pen like this. I mean like a laser. Um, all legal and legitimate and of course lab grade equipment like I always do. You know me, I'm obsessed with lab grade equipment. But it should be interesting. It's a powerful green laser. I'm sure I want to see if I can do some interesting experience, experiments. Maybe holography. Maybe um, seeing if I can induce uh, some x-ray changes and some radioactive material. A whole bunch of interesting things. We'll see what we can, what kind of fun we can have with a laser. That should be fun. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys that little heads up because I figured, you know, you might want to know. Anyway, so um, I also apologize for the wind that 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 is in the video too. It was windy like crazy. This is in Joshua Tree National Forest. Um, I'm doing some smoke because this laser that I have here, as neat as it is, it's not terribly powerful. Well, you can see it. I mean, it's powerful enough to get a um, decent beam. My cat's going crazy trying to get the beam. Do, 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 crazy beam. Do, do. But uh, the laser I'm getting is so powerful that you can actually see it with uh, the naked eye in the middle of the day. And that's something you can't do with this still. But without further ado, here is the video. Hello, folks. This is Tom from anti-proton.com. And I'm in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Why am I here? For you, of course. Well, I'm basically looking for uranium. This is a national park, so if I find it, I can't do anything with it other than take a photograph. Besides, I'd have to fly back on an airplane, and I'm pretty sure that wouldn't go through um, security too well. But this is a beautiful place. This is technically Joshua Tree National uh, Forest. It's a forest with those. Those aren't actually trees. They're Joshua Trees. And we are looking for uranium. Here's a Joshua tree. It's kind of windy out today. An interesting sort of thing. It's not actually a tree at all, of course. Look at that. Beautiful little thing. No, it's not really that little, is it? And now I have a trusty pair of binoculars to look at stuff. I brought a Ludlum scintillation counter. Let me fire that up now put it on the times 10 mode and I'm getting on times 10 I'm getting about 4,000 counts per minute so a little bit elevated and I suspect it's probably from those boulders up there which I'm going to head up to in a minute here's some trash from somebody stupid who doesn't know how to throw away their trash and of course I have the Ludlum scintillation counter which is already at thir between 13 and 15 Oh, sorry, between 0 0.13 and 0 0.15 microsieverts per hour. So we're definitely picking up something. So let's go look and see what we can find out here in the high desert. Look at these interesting formations. 
You see how the rocks go all the way down here? They, they give you an idea. See how they break off in pieces? Interesting, huh? Yeah. I'll show you from a bit of a distance. All of the geologic formations out here are quite interesting. I'm getting farther and farther and farther from the beaten trail. Still no uranium. Do you see that yellow and orangey material on the rocks right there? Well, the orange doesn't fool me. I know what that is. But when I saw the yellow, I kind of jumped at it for a second. I thought to myself, could this be some like uh, uranophane or carnitite or something? No. It turns out it's lichen. There's a piece of it right here, close. Let me pull back so you can see it a little better. Lichen. Beautiful stuff, really. Lichen. I guess you might say I liken it to uranium, <laughs> but it's not really. It's actually a, a creature. It's not uranium. I'm still in the prowl. Now, as much as I love my Ludlum, these low levels of uranium actually came up better in the um, in the uh, Geiger counter than they did. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's 124 counts per minute. Got up to almost 150 a minute ago. They shut up better on the actual Geiger counter. Cut the volume up on that. Just, I'm not the volume though. Light. It's definitely over here. Much. Little bits of it. This piece right here, 160 counts per minute. An interesting question is am I detecting uranium, thorium, or potassium? Let's put pull out the um, gamma spectrometer quickly and figure out which one it is. And so people ask me why I switched from AT&T to Verizon. Because I get how many? Let's see. I get 3G and 2 bars, which is not bad in the middle of the Mojave freaking desert. I guess that's right, friends. I'm in the Mojave Desert. The nearest human civilization is miles and miles and miles away. There are rocks everywhere. And I just called somebody on the telephone. You know what? That's why I have Verizon. How about that? Alright, so what is this fuss about? <clears throat> well, 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 it looks to me like we found ourselves some uranium. The Polymaster actually went off when it got near this area. Here it go. Quarter of a microsievert, third of a microsievert per hour. There's something up in here. Now, so far, portable spectrometry tests indicate the presence of uranium and thorium together. The um, Ludlum's getting about 8,000 counts per minute. So, not too high. The inspector's getting 160. Depending where you go. I haven't hit like a super sweet spot yet. I'm not finding individual pieces of uranium by themselves, but I'm certainly finding it in everything. It's certainly in the area. I just can't seem to find it by itself. So let's keep the um, detector area open in the back. So I'm picking up alpha. I'm pick up as much as I can. It's best down here. It's definitely in the area. Certainly enough of it out here. Oh my god. What an amazing place. Now look at this. i got my eyepiece up here on it. Um, you see that? It's that little vein of... Looks like quartz and feldspar running all the way down there. This is a good place for us to see if we can find ourselves some readings. Alright, so we're getting 66 counts per minute. 72. Let's let this stabilize a little bit. I just pulled it out of my bag. See how it goes before I put it anywhere near the rock. Okay, so 70 to 80. <clears throat> and we'll put it down here. I've already looked below me. Never squat down in the desert. You get your ass bitten by a 
snake. Hmm, what do we have here? Something that likes to tick. And we know that things that tick are usually radioactive. Well, by George. Could it be? Follow the quartz. Follow the mica. Follow the veins and the inclusions and the dikes, and you will find uranium. Well, I have to test this in a second with my portable spectrometer and see if it's uranium or thorium. They do exist in concert. So far, the um, inspectors proved more useful at locating uranium than the Ludlum. And the reason is the Ludlum's not really good for this low-level stuff. It's actually, some, technically it's much more sensitive, but the background gr uh, drowns everything out. It's sort of confusing how that works. Um, look at this. You may not be able to see it. So I'll take some photographs of it. You see the coloring. There's actually all colors of the rainbow right here. I'm not sure what ore that is, but I'll figure it out later. Whatever it is, it's pretty radioactive. Well, I shouldn't say pretty radioactive. 30, 40,000 counts per minute is pretty radioactive. This is only 150. Look at these interesting rock formations. I have to admit, I actually don't know off the top of my head what these are. They're probably some kind of titanium oxide. This place is full of titanium. They're a little radioactive, but not much. It's probably the rock behind them that's actually radioactive, not them so much. So I'm going to test these out now with my field portable spectrometer and see what's in them. Maybe that'll give me some clues as to where I'm looking at uh, uranium or thorium or even potentially potassium. Although it would be pretty heavy around here to get that kind of reading. Interesting. Well, my field portable spectrometer confirms the presence of thorium, it looks like. I'll have to wait till I get back to some place where I can get on a laptop and really get a good look at it. But it looks like I see thorium through here. So, not uranium, but thorium. I don't know why I love uranium more than thorium. They're both kind of cool, but that is apparently thorium in there. And there may be some potassium, although I didn't see that. But like I said, it's hard to see this in the middle of the sun. So I'm going to get some uh, higher resolution photos of those rocks right there. And then head on down that away. interesting rock. Quite beautiful. I'm sure some moron will come eventually and push it over because people are stupid. But until then, let's all take a good look. Neat, huh? Just a big old rock sitting there. Balancing just fine for probably millions of years.